G'day and welcome to this Ableton Quick Trick. Today, I'll show you quickly how to create an unusual ping pong delay effect using Ableton's shifter device. Okay, before I go into the parameters that are responsible for the sound, I want to explain that shifter isn't really a ping pong delay. Despite that, I found a way to set it up so that it acts like a ping pong delay, but with a few quirks to it that make it unique. And I think that's valuable because ping pong delay is arguably overused, especially in Psytrance. And so whenever I find a way that I can innovate something that's a staple in a genre and avoid doing something in a way that's been done to the point that it can be thought of as boring or a cliche, then I'm pretty interested in finding that technique, making use of it and sharing it. So before I go on to show you the automation that's going on, I'm going to mute that channel and instead focus on a duplicate of it, which doesn't have any of the automation. So we'll play from here and I'll turn the shifter off just so you get to know what the melody sounds like without it. Now there is some ping pong delay that Replica is responsible for, but it's pretty subtle and more of a diffused reverb than anything. Switching it off doesn't make all that much difference. So now let's mess around with shifter. First of all, we'll put the wet and dry all the way up and the amount of the LFO down and focus on the coarse pitch. We're in frequency shifter mode. There's also pitch shifter mode and ring modulation mode. But frequency shifter is the one that I chose for this so we'll go with that. Now the internal LFO is set to sine wave and it's synchronized and I've chosen three over four as the rate. Well, first of all, I'll turn this phase to zero. Also the duty cycle needs to be at the default of 0%. Now when I turn this amount up, the LFO will start to modulate the course. Part of what makes this shifter device interesting and what turns it into a ping pong delay type effect is that I can offset the phase of the left and right channels. So I'll do that by 180 degrees. Now you get opposite things happening in each speaker. And to take things a step further, and this is what really makes the shifter stand out as far as making a unique ping pong delay goes, you can warp the shape of the LFO. And that tends to give it a, a rhythm, which is unlike what you would normally get from a standard ping pong delay. Instead of this smooth sine wave, if I set it to about 75%, we get a more pronounced rhythm. Go even more than 75%. 
So essentially that's what's going on. That's what's creating this unique ping pong delay effect. So now let's go back to the original melody channel and take a look at the automation. So the main three parameters that we need to look at in the automation lanes is the shifters delay feedback, which I haven't explained yet. The shifters LFO amount or depth and the shifters dry wet. So at the start of the track, all of these are at zero. At this point, halfway through the intro, the wet and dry shifts up to 50% or 40%. And you'll notice the amount starts to come up slowly. And it starts to get quite psychedelic. And even more so until the transition and the drop. But this key moment here, just before the drop, a couple of things happen. So there is a delay in this shifter device. I've got it set at 1 64th or 64th division of a note, which is pretty quick. And if I go back to the duplicate with no automation, and we turn down the amount so there's no modulation on the pitch, and we turn the delay on, you get a pretty standard delay effect. And the automation of that feedback amount going up towards the end of the melody intro is what creates a tail that echoes over the transition at the drop and beyond the drop. Let's take a listen. Now you will notice too that this automation lane here is affecting the auto filters frequency cutoff. And that is just my way of making sure the sound gets out of the way of the drum feel at that point. So with all that explained, let's play it again from the beginning.
Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. Take care. Cheers. Thank you.